You wake up and want to start your perfect morning by getting a hot shower. Then you cook some delicious breakfast and drive your car to work. But then you wake up again to realize this was all a dream. You have to wake up and have cold showers because there is no electricity to heat water. You have to have cold breakfast because there is no gas. You have to walk to work because there is no fuel. This is reality without natural gas. Natural gas remains trapped in the rock layers several kilometers below the surface of the Earth. We cannot dig up all the land to get the natural gas out. So how do we know how much natural gas is in the land we stand today? You read my thesis. <laughs> natural gas is what we need. And therefore, this is what my PhD is about. I look at how do we estimate how much natural gas is in the land we stand today with the most certainty. And for that, I use three main ingredients, a supercomputer, a rock sample, and some computer vision techniques. Now let's assume this room is a land where there are natural gas sweet spots. Dr. Lal, you're our first sweet spot. And we're gonna drill a well under your chair, extract a small piece of rock sample, and then take X-ray images of this and utilize it to look through, uh, um, through our supercomputer. And what we realize is that this rock looks just like a sponge. It has empty spaces called pores. And this is where your natural gas remains trapped. So if you know the number of pores, you know the amount of natural gas. Now, here's the catch. These pores are actually as thin as your human hair. And if I give each and every one of you in this room to tell me how many pores do you see in this image, you'll actually give me a different number. Identifying pores is a, sub is a victim of human subjectivity. And this subjectivity can actually cause natural gas companies thousands, if not millions of dollars. And therefore, I use my computer vision techniques, which are the same techniques that a doctor uses to identify fractures in X-ray images of bones. I use the same approach to identify pores in X-ray images of rocks. And the benefit of this technique is that it allows you to calculate statistical parameters that automatically indicate the presence of pores. So now that we are certain with the amount of natural gas in this tiny bit of rock, we know how much natural gas that's in this room and also in the surface of the earth below our ground. Now this natural gas is important because it's the bridging fuel of the future. It is a complement to our renewable sources to ensure our um, power grid is res resilient. And overall, we want to have a good start to our morning and not read my thesis, so that you use three main ingredients, the mighty supercomputer, a block of rock, and a pinch of computer vision. Thank you. <laughs>